So we're going to uh, multiply these out, and then we're going to um, simplify them. So this would be multiplication of rational expressions. So let's take a look at this one first. And notice I have this uh, multiplied by that. And when I multiply uh, fractions, it's just numerator times numerator all over denominator over denominator. So you can think of this as just one big fraction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor everything, and I'm going to see what cancels out. So looking at this one here, uh, things that multiply to 8 but add to 6, let's see, 1 and 8, 2 and 4, that's it, 2 and 4, multiplies to 8, adds to 6. So this factors to uh, x plus 2 times x plus 4. Uh, looking at this one, same sort of thing, multiply to 6, add to 5, 1 and 6, 2 and 3, it's 2 and 3. So this factors to x plus 2 times x plus 3. And since it's multiplication, it's just going to be all numerator. So let me factor this one. Things that multiply to negative 3 add to 2. Uh, 1 and 3. There we go, 3 and negative 1. So this factors to uh, x minus 1 multiplied by x plus 3. Then this one, uh, negative 5, 1 and 5, 4, so 5 and negative 1. So this factors to x minus 1 times x plus 5. And just that came from there, that came from there. So then now what I can do is I can decide what's going to divide out, what's going to uh, give me some 1. So anything divided by itself is 1, so that divides to a 1. This divides to a 1 x plus 3 divided by x plus 3, that divides to a 1. If I look at what's left, I have an x plus 4 in the numerator. Boy, that was horrible. Let me just try and write again. Um, x plus 4, and then the bottom in the denominator, x plus 5. So that's my answer, but I want to note the things that x cannot be. x cannot be negative 2, negative 3, 1, or negative 5. There's my answer. That's a five. <clears throat> so next one. Multiply these out. Same idea. I'm going to factor everything, see what cancels. So looking at this, things that multiply to two, positive two, add to negative three, one and two. So if they're both negative, that multiplies to a positive, adds to negative three. So this factors to um, x minus one times x minus two. Six times x is just six times x. Uh, this... I notice they, they each have a 6, so I could have a 6, and then, uh, oh, also an x squared. They each have an x squared in them. So notice if I take out an x, 6x squared, what's left here is just an x, what's left here is a 2. So, just like that. Uh, going to factor this, things that multiply to negative 8, but add to positive 2, uh, 4, and negative 2. So this factors to uh, x plus 4 multiplied by x minus 2. So everything's all factored. So 6 divided by 6 is 1. Uh, x minus 2 divided by x minus 2 is 1. And notice this x squared, there's two of these x's. So one of those x's cancels out that, leaving me an x up here. So if I write this solution out, it's going to be uh, x times x minus 1 times x minus 2. That whole thing's over x plus 4. So that's all divided out, and let me keep track of things that cannot be, because I can't divide by zero, it can't be zero, it can't be negative four, it can't be positive two. There's my answer.